Hey everyone, and welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey again, and for the Skate or Fall game, I feel that it's pretty complete. And really, the only thing that we're missing here is the title screen. So we're going to work on that in this lesson. And what we're going to do is first duplicate our room here. Now we're going to also rename game one to RM title. Let's make sure we drag the game underneath the title because Game Maker is going to run the first one that it um, that it, that's listed in the rooms here. And if we open it up, the reason that we're duplicating it is just really to get the um, settings or the room properties here because the first room normally is how the game is going to run, so the width and height. So I'm going to come up here, make sure you're in the room title, and I'm going to get rid of all of our layers. Now for the background, I can leave that as is, and I'm going to import a, or sorry, I'm going to add an asset layer here. I want to go up to the sprite backgrounds and drag one in and I'm going to drag another one in here. Now, a neat thing is I can now double click on these backgrounds and I get the properties of this background. I want to make sure that we're not animating this background and also do the same on the left side. And the other cool thing is I can choose what frame this background is on. So I'll say frame one. I can use frame two or three, but let's, uh, let's actually use frame three. So that's pretty good. Next thing I want to do is add the player in here, and I'm going to add the player uh, sprite, the idle version, and I'm just going to double click them, and I'm going to scale them up two by two, and I'll use or leave the animation speed the same, and frame zero is fine, so I'll put him just right over there. Okay, so let's import some artwork here. We'll create a new group just called title, and we will create a sprite. Let's call this SPR title text. And all I've done is I've created some text. Let's see here. Skate or Skate Infinity. I've created some text using a different program. I'm just going to import this. And I'm back in the room title. I'm just going to drag and drop the text here. Okay. So we're almost done. We need to create a new button. So we'll just say create sprite, SPR button play. And I will edit my image and then say images import strip. And I will find my play button here. And we have three frames. And the um, frame width, I believe is 128 by 64. And now we have to add the padding in there, which I believe is eight by eight and then we have some spacing so that is was that eight as well i think that looks right so we have our first frame second and third yep that's okay so we'll hit convert and say yes now we have our three different states for that button and if you remember before if we go to our objects and we go to buttons all we really have to do is duplicate one of these buttons. We'll choose button retry. Let's give it a different name of object button play. Now let's make sure we use the correct sprite. And when they press on the button, instead of doing this information here, we want to say room, go to, and we want RM game. All right, so our button is now all set up. Make sure we close everything that we have open and switch back to our room. Now to add our button, we're gonna to have to create an instance layer. Make sure it's at the top, because we need it over top of our background. And we will just grab our play button, and we can grab the quit button as well. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so without further ado, let's hit play. And once this compiles, we should be able to see our title screen here, because it's at the top. And it doesn't look that bad. Our buttons are being shown, and that is actually because of the create event. So what we want to do, let's see here. Alpha, position, N. Oh, yes, we have some of that information there. Okay, so let's do a couple more things. In the room title, we will... Go to our instances, double click on play. We'll have to come over here. And we want the variables. 
and end x or y, we will just take these variables here. And actually, you know what? We can make this look kind of neat. Okay, so the end variables for x, we want 296. And for y, I want 136. And let's close that. Double click on quit and save variables. For the end, I want 432 and 136 for y. All right, so that means that I can kind of drag these off to the side. So I will drag that one over here, and I'll just drag that one over there. Next, what I want to do is I'm going to create, I'll actually edit the room itself here. Creation code. So in the room, what we're going to do is we're going to get these buttons activated. So I have a object button play, and we also have an object button quit. And what I want to do is say instance, I believe it's activate object. And I'll pass in this guy, and I will pass in the quit object as well. All right, so we are going to activate the two instances. So let's hit play, and let's see if this is going to bring our buttons in here. All right, so now our buttons are in here. They look good. We can quit our application. We'll hit play again. Our button should zoom in here. And we can hit play, and we will be taken into our game. And our game is not super hard, but if we die here, we get the retry and quit. Again, we can retry. It comes back to the proper room. And we'll just skip over one. Let's get hit by the next one. And if we quit, we exit our application. All right, so that is it for the skate or fall. Maybe the only other thing that you might want to do is publish this game. And to do that, you want to go into options and then check on our Windows settings because I will be exporting it for Windows. Just make sure, you, sorry, make sure you have your display name, your executable name, and company product copyright and description filled in. And I should change my copyright to 2018 because that's, that's what year it's in. And other than that, I mean, the only other thing you'll probably want to do is to make an icon. So in my case, what I would probably do is go to my player. I would grab the player himself, maybe grab a part of his body, and I would make that the icon. And then once you have everything, you can just come up to build and create executable. And the, what I have it doing is I have it creating a zip file. So it will create a zip file with two files in there. Actually, let's go ahead and create one. We'll see how this looks. Just let it create. Once it's done, should it open up for me. So I have my zip file here. I will just unzip it. And in here, because I didn't add any icon, it gives me the game maker icon. The check mark is just because I'm using Dropbox, so you can ignore that. We have our data, and that's just game maker two data. So if I double click here, once this loads up. We have our play and quit. And if I hit play, you can see the game is working as normal. I can get hit, go off screen, and die. And then I can quit my game if I want. Well, there you have it, published and everything. Um, you'd probably want to upload that to something like itch.io. But that is totally up to you, and you can share it with your friends. All right, I would like to thank you for watching, and I think we are done with the Skater Fall, unless anyone else has some suggestions. I'll be moving on to a bunch of different tutorials. All right, thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next one.